Welcome to the live demonstration of the pickup and delivery platform. Currently, what you are seeing is the customer website. At the top left, you can see the company logo. At the top right, the customer will be able to see all the terms and conditions and the privacy policy of the business. If a customer wanted to work on as a vendor with this business, they can register themselves by going to this link. If a customer wanted to change the language for the website, to check on the currencies which have been accepted by this business, to check on the profile, they can click on the profile section and simply to log out from the website, they can click on to the logout section. Now, to set up a pickup task, the customer need to add the pickup location for the parcel and to enter the drop-off task, they need to enter the drop-off location. If you wanted to request a, a pickup request for in a real-time basis, you can do the same by clicking on request now. If a customer wanted to schedule it for later on, they can click on the schedule for later and set up the time and the date on, the, on their preferences. Below this, the customer will be able to see the quick links again. The contactable links as per the business location, the name and the email. If they wanted to download the application for their mobile for the Android and iOS versions and the payment method being accepted. Now let me take you to the application, customer application. So this is the customer application. When the customer will be downloading this application and the first landing page they will be seeing for the signing up of their account. If a customer wanted, they can create a new account by filling on all the credentials like the name, email, phone number, password, and the referral codes if they have any. Or if they wanted to sign up from the various social media logins like the Google and Facebook, so currently I have my own login credentials, so I'll be using the same. Now, the, this is the customer application. At the top, the customer will be able to see all the uh, advertisement banners which have been running with the offers and the discounts provided by the business. In the delivery thing, they can select the delivery part from by selecting the pickup and the drop-off locations. Below this, there is a GPS real-time positioning of the customers from where they are placing up their orders. Now let me place a pickup request from my end. Back clicking on way to section. It has a feature of selecting the current real-time positioning of the customer as currently it automatically detects the customer location where to we have to give the destination location now the customer need to select the type of box that they wanted as per the parcel which is to be picked up and drop off so let me select a medium box now the customer can add on various instructions for different sort of uh, items that they will be uh, transferring like if for the glass items they can write on the fragile which they have to take care they can also add an image for the scene by clicking on submit button now the customer will be able to see the total amount that is being charged the distance being covered as per the drop off and pickup location being set the duration for the same and if any delivery fee being applied now to book the request for the pickup they can select the payment methods currently we have the cash on delivery method whereas if they have any other online payments they can make up the payments using online if a customer has if you have any other you know promo coupons they can apply the same to get more discounts now let me book the pickup request Here, the customer will be able to see the complete route plan from the pickup till the drop-off task. Along with that, they can see the order ID. And with that, 
the pickup request been sent up to the driver and they can they will be notified they can check on the order id currently it's been unassigned which has been automatically been detected using the auto allocation features soon this this task will be assigned to the particular driver as you can see that the order has been assigned to the driver on the basis of the availability of the driver the route plan will be optimized and the whole of the details will be shown up to the customer with the driver details the location each and everything now from the customer end the order placing task has been completed and the with the use of auto allocation the task has been aligned with the driver now let's move on to the admin panel let me take you to the admin panel Now let me show you the admin panel for the pickup and delivery services. From here, you can have a complete 360 view of your business and managing all each and every task from single panel. So this whole admin panel has been divided into four sections: the order section, setting section, and the marketing section. So in the order section, you can see the dashboard from where you can manage all of your orders or the bookings we need the active bookings any of the completed bookings the cancelled bookings if any delivery partner has been added to your business the various categories for the of parcels or services that you will be providing the promotions and the return requests below this you can have a view on the sales analytics which is completely ai based and if you wanted to filter out you can do it on the yearly weekly and monthly basis on the right section you can have a view on to the revenue being generated as per the location of your business being set up like if your business is been running up in a particular section and if any business is not running up to the mark you can have a view and you can focus more on it moving on to the order section in the order section there will be we have been bifurcated all the orders the return request and the cancel orders in the order section any of the bookings being requested by the customers will be shown up in, into the pending orders and when you will be accepting or rejecting any of the task it will be moved on to the active section in the order history you can have a view of all the past bookings being requested or made by the customers if you want to filter out the orders you can filter out on the basis of date or different vendors working under you in the return request section you can check on all the return request and the cancelled order request under the merchant section you can have a view of all the vendors who have been working under you as a pickup and delivery partner and if any of the request been made you can accept or reject them to import the same you can download the sample file and upload these details or if you wanted to add on to yourself by clicking on add section you can fill on all the attributes and submit the same moving on to the accounting section here you can have a complete financial database of all the orders being made by the customers or the bookings moving on to the order section so here you can have a view of complete view of the orders on the basis of their order id you can check on the date and time for same the customer details vendor details any of the subtotal amount if any promo code has been applied over to the any of the bookings then the discounts provided the admin commissions the payment method being used and the status of the orders similarly it's for the special points or the loyalty points being used by the customers or the promo codes in the tax section you can have a view of all the orders onto which tax amount has been applied and the payment method being used similarly for the merchants too if you wanted to download all of these database details you can export it to a csv format for the further references so check on the payout request you can go to payout request section here any of the payout request been requested by the vendors will be shown up over here moving on to the customers 
Here you can have a view of all the customers who have been registered onto your platform using the website or the application. You can have a view of the images, the name, the login type as they have used via the social media logins or they have newly registered, the sign up date, the more details, total orders been that have been placed till now, their status, and to make an edit or delete that customer details, you can do the same by in a one click. If you if a person wanted to add import their own customers, they can import it from this section. I click on the import button and uploading the file or they can add a new customer by clicking on the ads button. Moving on to the product reviews, any of the orders or the categories for which the bookings has been made, they can check on the reviews. Moving on to the settings section. So from here, the admin can manage their profile. They can upload a new logo for themselves. They can update their name, the contact details, the company details and so on. And clicking on update, it will be updated over the application and the website. Moving on to the customized section. So here, the admin can easily customize their panel by changing up their date and time and the currency being accepted. They can manage their time estimator, the language and currencies if they have multiple added on to their platform and the conversion for the same. They can add on the Android links, the social media links and manage their nomenclatures. If they wanted to add any of the documents for the vendor to be registering onto it, they can do the same. Moving on to the styling section, the admin can manage the styling onto for the application as well as the website. In the app styling section, they can manage the font styles, they can color, select the colors, they can select the tab bar styles from the predefined templates. And if the admin wanted to add a tutorial image to book any of the requests, they can add on so. Similarly, it's for the web styling too. Here for the web styling, they can add on the thumbnails, the color, the, they can change on the mode, the contactable links, any of the home page style templates they can select on from the same. Moving on to the CMS section. So here, the admin can manage their content management system. They can manage the content to be shown up in their pages. Like if you want, they wanted to add a new page for the FAQ section, they can add it into the list and then it, they can add on what to be reflecting under that page and they can simply update and publish it. Moving on to the email section, here the admin can manage their email that will be sent up to the uh, any of the new window sign up. If a customer forgot their password, then what template to be shown up there for any of the order updates what email to be sent up that can be updated and published. Moving on to the notification section. So here, the admin can manage all of the notifications which has been reflected using the pop-up notifications or the email notifications shared up by the customers. Moving on to the catalog section. So here, the admin can manage the different categories of the services that will be offering and they can add on the variants for the same by clicking on the add button. They can add on the icon, image, URL slug, any other parent category for the same and various meta details. And by clicking on submit, that category will be created. Moving on to the tax section. Now in this, the admin can manage all of the tax categories and the tax rates for the same that will be working under their area. To manage the same, first they will need to add the tax category by providing the tax title, the code and the description for the same. After creation of the tax category, for the same they can add on the tax rate by clicking on the add button. As adding the identifiers, the tax category which they have been currently created and the tax rate. Moving on to the payment options. Now here the admin can manage all the different payment options they will be offering to their customers. Currently we have cash on delivery which has been enabled. 
whereas if different payment gateways been integrated for example the paypal or the paystack on the basis of that the admin can enable or disable this payment on a single toggle moving on to the marketing section so from here the admin can easily manage the marketing of their company by using the banners so using the mobile banners they can manage the same to add a new mobile banner they can simply click on add button add the following details like the image the name the start and end date of for the mobile banners for example for the offer and discounts and to which category it will be assigned to clicking on submit that mobile banner will be created and shown up over the application moving on to the promo codes in the promo code section the admin can manage the promo codes by adding on by clicking on the add button they can add up the promo code image the title for the same any of the descriptions the promo code which is being used by the customers if the promo code type will be in the form of the admin can add a promo code from there and by adding up the image the title the description about that promo code the promo code that has been used by the customer and the type of promo will it be a percentage or a fixed amount of a discount the amount for the same and they can set on the expiry for the promo code by filling all all these complete attributes and clicking on the submit button that promo code will be added over to the website as well as the application moving on to the special points or we can say the loyalty points so from here the admin can manage the loyalty points for it by providing various plans as you can see the gold plan silver plan and the platinum plan any of the plan that admin wanted to add from your their own self they can click on the add button they can add up the image the name the minimum points to reach on to to get this plan earning per orders and the amount for which one special point will be earned by the customer moving on to the various campaigns so for in the marketing section there is a campaign section from where the admin can run on the campaigns to promote their business over the social media like the youtube the facebook and so on to add on to the campaign they can add on the title the notification being sent the message they can select the users they can schedule the date for the campaign to be run on on and the request use account by clicking on submit that campaign will be added and as per that it will be active over the website and the application so this is all about the admin panel also from the panel itself admin can go over to the website as well as the dispatch panel so this is the dashboard for the dispatch panel from where you can see the complete map view and at the top left at the left you can see all of the teams that have been working till now in the customer section here again the customer can be viewed up so in the customer section so from here the customer can be seen up the number of customers who have been registered onto the platform in the route section you can have the complete task which has been which are pending which is to be assigned manually or using the auto allocation it will be assigned to the drivers the number of active tasks which have been running up and the history for the total orders or the total bookings task given to the drivers for any of the task to keep a track they are tracking urls the admin can have a view onto the route proofs by for the pick up and the drop off task and they can take on the action and check on the price for the same in the dispatch panel they there are various drivers and they can add it onto the teams by creating in the team section these agents or the drivers which are working will be compiled into a team in the agent section you can have a view of all of the agents who have been working under the payroll of the admin any of the request been made by the driver will be shown up into the approval section and it's totally up to the admin to accept or reject the request of the driver in the active section you can have a view of all the drivers which are currently working and who are online and offline the complete details and the cash earned moving on to the payout request so here 
the admin can have a view on to the pay at request mean given by the driver using the driver application any of the pending payout request will be shown up in the pending section for any of the drivers and clicking on this payout button that action would be taken up and it will shown up into the complete section moving on to the geofence now here the admin can create a geofencing for their business to assign the particular set of agents to be working in a particular area to add a new geofence clicking on this button they can add a new geofence by adding up name the description the team which is to be assigned into that particular area if a admin wanted to add all the teams or a particular team they can select the team from here as per that they can select the particular agent they can save it and the geofence or the virtual boundaries will be created now moving on to the auto allocation section so from here the admin can manage the auto allocation which has been run over the algorithms different algorithms to enable this auto allocation to enable this option then the using the algorithms the task will be assigned to the agents automatically so below this the there are four algorithms which has been used so in the first algo in the one by one the task has been assigned to the drivers and when they accept the task then it will be uh, the particular task has been assigned to them in send to all one task is been sent to all other agents nearby and whosoever is available it will be assigned to them the the task is been assigned in the batch wise form and again whosoever is available it will be assigned to them in the round robin algo in this the task is been shared to the agent and the minimum task being done by the agent will be assigned that task taking on the update thing then that algorithm will be applied to the whole of the driver application and on the basis of that the task will be assigned moving on to the pricing rules the admin can manage the pricing rules to add new pricing rule for the particular area they can add on the name the geofencing for which they wanted to apply the pricing rule the team the driver tag they can manage the base price the base duration the base distance the duration price as per the minute the distance pin p that will be applied the commission for the employees on the basis of percentage of fixed and similarly for the freelancers by clicking on submit the pricing rule will be created and applied moving on to the analytics section the admin can have a heat view of the best of their business has been running they can have a view of the sales and the revenue being generated and which is completely ai based you can manage it on the basis of daily weekly and monthly basis moving on to the managers under the manager section if a admin wanted to add a sub admin from the self they can add on the same by adding the manager and filling on all the attributes by selecting the different teams and the different permissions now let me take you to the driver application as we have already placed a request for the pickup so as we have already scheduled a task for the driver it will be shown up as a pop up notification to the driver now i will be accepting this task this is the driver application after logging into the driver application the daily base task will be shown up into this and they can manage see the complete task being done if a driver wanted to toggle them off as off duty they can do the same they can mark them off duty by simply going to the toggle button and marking them off duty now let's select the pickup task now from here the driver will be able to see the complete details of the customer details along with the number the cash to be collected and the timings to navigate the same they can navigate using the google map apis to start on the task they need to hold on while arriving to the pickup location now while picking up the parcel from here the driver 
need to provide the OTP, either OTP or they can add different proofs like the notes, photo or signature, so on. Now the pickup task has been completed and the driver is on the way to deliver to the destination. Now let's deliver to the destination task. The driver need to hold on to start the delivery or the drop off task after arriving to the drop off locations and after the completion of the delivery to the customer they need to complete the task. After the completion of the whole task they need to again provide a drop off proof in the form of OTP or different attachments. Let's do a signature task proof. By clicking on done, the task proof will be submitted. Now the whole of the task from the pickup to the delivery has been done and the or parcel has been delivered to the customer. Thank you so much.